Hey YouTube, Nathan here uh, with you again. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I use for tagging my fish. I kind of mentioned it briefly in one of my other videos. And I wanted to show you guys how I do it. Um, if you look up uh, fish tagging, a lot of times you'll see like Floy tags um, are the T-bar ones that are the most popular that are out there. And you get like 100 tags, but it costs you like $90. And that's without the tagging gun. Um, what I did is I basically made something similar to that on my own. Um, and total cost into it, and I can make almost a thousand tags, um, probably around 40 bucks. So what I did is I went on eBay and I picked up one of these uh, cheap um, price tagging guns that they would use at like a store. And I picked up a thousand of the price tags, uh, or the price tag holders. And I also went on eBay and I bought uh, some two millimeter um, heat shrink tubing. And my wife had already had these from the craft store. They're called Craft Smart paint pens. Uh, they don't come off in water, so the fish can have these on them. The numbers are going to stay on there the entire time. Um, they're not going to wear off like with permanent marker or regular marker. Uh, the nice thing about these is the only thing that takes the, the numbers off is alcohol. Uh, so basically what I do is I take the stick of tags and they're all connected at the ends um, and they're a little bit wider than uh, what you see here currently um, so what I do is I snip them down to where the two millimeter heat shrink tubing will slide right over top of that and then once I get the whole set done uh, I'll take the hair dryer and I'll blast it until it shrinks down to where they all catch basically what that does is allows them to free float on the tag so as the fish is swimming they're not going to bind up at all they'll free float on there and these lay down real nice along the side of this along the side of the bass so I'll give you a close up here of one of them so this is one of the assembled ones right here you see here you got your t-bar this will actually go in uh, right by the dorsal fin and then here we have the paint marker so number 34 is the next one that I have to tag see here that doesn't that doesn't come off that's not going to come off it's going to stay on the fish the whole time um, until I decide to take it off the fish or um, the fish dies and then uh, we find that out we actually had one the other day uh, it was a 1.7 pound bass that we had caught uh, two weeks ago uh, that got stuck up in the grass and um, we wouldn't have known anything about the fish um, had it not had the tag on it but we tagged it we were able to monitor it um, and then we're tracking all of our bass in our pond. And the reason we're doing that is because we have a lot of stunted bass. So we want to tag 50, go from there, see where we're at. We'll pull everything uh, that's 14 inches or less out. Um, based on the weights that we're getting, we're getting a lot of 10 to 12 inch bass that are about half a pound. Uh, we have plenty of bluegill to feed the bass, but I think we just have too many bass in there. So we need to start pulling some of them out uh, instead of doing catch and release. So again, this is how I make my tags uh, for tagging the fish for tracking purposes. Um, again, less than 50 bucks and I can make a thousand tags. So versus a hundred dollars for a hundred tags. So this, I want to show you guys how I did it. Subscribe to my channel. Um, we'll get better at these videos as we go. And uh, if you guys have any suggestions or videos you want to see, uh, just let us know. Thanks for watching. Bye.